Depending on where you live and when you watch this video, it might be summer, which means these guys have arrived. It's time for you to adapt accordingly. So give your bracelet a gentle scrub and put your watch on a NATO strap. Why not a normal two-piece rubber band? Uh, well, because it was used in the military and military equals cool. Nah, I don't care about being historically accurate. This is how you should wear your NATO strap. The reasons I like wearing a NATO strap during summer is that it is lighter, water resistant, easy to wash. If your wrist expands during the day, you can extend it and to me it feels more secure. If I'm going for a swim, snorkeling or diving, I don't want to worry about losing the watch. Some claim that a NATO strap actually increases the risk of a spring bar popping out, but I'll show you something that I think mitigates that problem. And even then, if it ever happens, the watch is still held on by the remaining one. Trust me bro, I'm a self-proclaimed watch expert. I know this stuff. So first of all, you'll need a NATO strap. You can either buy an expensive YouTuber branded NATO, or just buy a cheap one like I did. The quality isn't perfect of course, but it holds up decently. The idea is to simply move the watch further down the strap, so it's about in the middle. Now, if you have a normal NATO strap, you will have to move back this bottom piece. Slide the watch down and put your hand through the loop you just created. Now simply feed the strap through the buckle, and the rest is like usual. Now that it's done, the watch sits more balanced on the wrist, as we have thickness on the top from the watch itself, and on the bottom from the strap instead of having it on the outer part of the wrist. If you want even more comfort, you can cut the extra piece so the chunk becomes a bit thinner. Make sure you get a clean cut with the scissors and then use a lighter to seal it. Don't cut too close to the stitching of the metal ring as it could come loose. Or you buy a single pass NATO strap so you don't have to cut it. I like using these shoulderless spring bars, which are a bit more tricky to take off, but because they don't have sharp things sticking out, they won't leave marks and wear down your strap. For that same reason, the NATO strap is less likely to get stuck on the spring bar, which could make it come loose. So this is how I avoid the spring bar failure. Since I cut my NATO, I've never missed the conventional way of wearing it. And if I ever would, I would simply buy a second one. One final thing I recommend, no matter which time of the year it is, is subscribing to this channel. More videos about watches and related stuff is coming soon, so the best way to not miss it is by subscribing. I hope this video was informative and helped you. You of course don't have to follow this, but it is just my preferred way of wearing my watch during the summer. Thank you for watching.